Hello. It's Kenya again talking about the methods of interpolation of contours. The process of spacing the contours proportionally between the plotted ground points is termed as interpolation of contours. Interpolation of contours is necessary in case of indirect contouring since only spot levels are taken. It is also useful in direct contouring if the contour interval is large. When interpolating contours, the ground between any two points is assumed to be uniformly sloping. There are mainly three methods of interpolation. By estimation, by arithmetical calculation, and graphical method. By estimation, the positions of the contour points between ground points are estimated roughly and the contours are drawn through these points. This is a rough method and is suitable for small scale maps. Actually, self of work depends on the skills and experience of the surveyor. It is assumed that the slope between two points is uniform as shown. From this, you can see that the assumed uniform slope is different from the actual slope. Hence, the method is, is not actually interpolation by arithmetical calculation. This method is very accurate and used for small areas where accurate results are desired. Contours are in, interpolated as below. Suppose A and B are two points at a distance of 30 meters and reduced levels of A and B are 24.32 meters and 26.9 meters respectively, taking the contour interval as 1 meter, 25 and 26 meter contours can be interpolated The difference of level between A and B is obtained by subtracting the reduced levels of A and B. And the same is also done for the difference of level between A and the 25 meter contour and also A and the 26 meter contour as shown. To find the distance of a contour, between any two points, the following expression can be employed. The horizontal distance between any two points divided by the vertical distance between the two points times the vertical distance between the, the contour which is desired and one point. Using that expression, the horizontal distances of the two contours can be obtained from point A, as shown. You can also use the method of similar triangles if you are not contented with that expression, since that expression was obtained using this method. I have also added an example which I explained in my previous video of indirect method by use of squares.
please try it out and see if you can come up with the same results that I got in my table of results. Lastly, graphical method of interpolation. These are simpler as compared to arithmetical methods and the results obtained are accurate. On a sheet of tracing paper, a line AB is drawn and divided into equal parts. AB is bisected at C and a perpendicular is drawn at this point. A point O is selected on this perpendicular. Radial lines are drawn from O to the divisions on AB. After these lines 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and so on are drawn parallel to AB. These lines serve as guidelines. The boundary line, every fifth line, is marked with a thick O red line as shown. On our sketch, line AB is first drawn and then divided into equal parts. It is then bisected at C and a perpendicular is elected. A point O is selected on our perpendicular and radial lines are drawn. Lines which are parallel to AB are also drawn as you can see. Suppose we have to interpolate a 2 meter contour interval between two points small A and small B of reduced levels 92.5 meters and 100.25 meters. Let us consider the lowest radio line of B to represent a reduced level of 90 meters. So every fifth line which is red or bold will represent 95, 100, 105 etc. The tracing paper is moved over plan until small a lies at 92.5 meters and b at 100.25 meters. The line small a b should be parallel to capital A b. Now the points 94, 96, 98 and 100 are clicked through to obtain the positions of the required contours. From sketch, you can see the line small ab along which the positions of the required contours can be obtained. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.